Well, hello everybody and welcome back to this series of videos on how to in Spotfire. Today's question is how we actually use a calculated column into an Spotfire table. For that, we're going to pretend this is our table and we're going to review a couple of concepts. Number one, we have uh, different columns in this table. Variables 1, 2, 3 and 4 are actually numerical columns. Okay. So the first operation we're going to do is to calculate the average cross variables 1, 2, 3, and 4. And for that, we're going to use this expression over here. When we use this expression, we will have these results in this column where you can see that we are calculating the average horizontally, including four numbers coming from four different columns and you are going to have as many numbers as a result as rows that you have in your table right you are going to have one unique number per row because these four numbers are unique for that row what if what you want to calculate is the average of an entire column in this case variable 4 is a numerical column and you want to know what is the average across all the numbers that you have in that column. For that case, the expression looks like this. And the difference here is that you are not going to get one number per row because you are going to have one unique result for all the rows that you have in your table. In this case, this number is going to repeat across all the rows. Now, the question is, what if I want to still calculate this average, but I want to group it somehow depending on a category that I have that is part of my table as well. So for that, let's think about this example over here, where we have this table, and we do have three different categories, A, B, and C. In this case, we are using this expression over here when we introduce the function over in a spot file. The function over is going to allow you to group the values depending on a specific category. In this case, you are still calculating the average of variable 4, but you are grouping these into three different categories, A, B, and C. Therefore, you are going to have three different results, 1, 2, and 3, correlating with each of the categories, okay? So how do we do this in a Spotfire? I'm going to go to the actual table in a Spotfire and I'm going to go to insert a calculated column. Once I do that, I'm going to have this user interface window where you can see all the variables that belong to your table over here and then you can see all the functions that you can use in the expressions. There are a lot of functions. Usually you can just scroll down and, and see what options do you have or you can just try whatever you need to start with. In this case I'm going to do the average. As soon as I do that I can actually select the average here and then I'm going to do the average between variables 1, variable 2, 3 and 4. I'm going to call this average all variables and I can format this to make no decimal points and keep it as a numerical column. Okay? As soon as I do OK, you're going to be able to see that column that's right here. You see one number per row because the operation is done horizontally. Now let's insert a different column where I'm going to have the average again, but in this case, it's going to be just for variable 4. So the name of the column is average variable 4, and once again, I'm going to format this to make zero decimal points and click OK. Once again, you have just one number as a result, OK? Because the operation is done vertically and is considering all the numbers that you have in variable 4. Now, I want to do this average by category. So I'm going to insert a calculated column and I'm going to go ahead and say that I want the average of 
my variable for, but in this case, I want to group it. So I'm going to group it into the different categories that I have on my categorical column. So I'm going to say average variable for per category. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and format it, zero decimal points, and click OK. And now you have three different numbers, one per category. Okay, okay, everybody, that is how you insert a calculated column. You have multiple options within this window, and you can start exploring all the functions that you have over here to actually create your own columns. Thank you very much, and see you next time.